I'm looking through your website right now. I've been looking through your Instagram account. And the first thing that I want to say here is that, well, number one, I really like how much effort you've put in to your clothing brand. I know that you only started in March 2019, so you're still brand new. Don't freak out that you're not getting orders yet. It's entirely okay. And uh, I can tell that you've been putting in a lot of work on your clothing brand so far, right? So like, congratulations, you're definitely on the right path, you're doing everything right, you just need to keep improving, you need to keep working on it, okay? And so some of the feedback and the suggestions that I give you right now, don't take it to heart, um, just recognize that I'm really just trying to do this for the benefit of you so that you can really get the most out of your clothing brand and really take your brand to the next level, okay? So the first thing that I wanna tell you here is that your brand concept, um, I'm trying to understand through looking at your website what your brand is all about and I'm having a really hard time truly understanding what exactly your brand represents and who exactly it's for, okay? So this means that when you start thinking about your brand, when people are showing up at your website, you really wanna do a good job at clearly expressing exactly who your brand is for so that there's really no confusion because right now when I come to your website and I'll flip this around for you if I can do that actually I can't but um, basically when I look at your website um, I'm kind of confused as to exactly who your perfect ideal customer is like who is who is this brand really for here so I'm just gonna go through your website here really quick and just point out some things okay so your, the name of your brand, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, Frylace, I, I assume that that's how you say it. Um, you may want to do something on your website that really explains to your visitors exactly what that means and what that stands for. Okay, so, because when I come to your website, I don't exactly know what that means and people don't generally just know what that means. So you definitely want to try and explain to your audience what exactly that means and I think that the best way for you to do that is to create an about page because I noticed at the top of your website there's really no about section and I recognize that there's also this part right here where you give a little blurb but this doesn't really tell me much about exactly who your brand is for and what your brand's all about okay so definitely create an about page and really explain inside of your about page uh, exactly who your brand's for why you made it and you know, the exact type of person that you're trying to sell to. And honestly, the more specific that you go with this, the more specific the type of person that you're trying to sell to, the better, because when your brand is really general, kind of like how it is right now, how it's sort of this general brand, it's really hard for people to identify with it and to really want to buy your clothing. Another thing that I want to say here is that these pictures are really nice, but this picture is way too big for the, for the main page of your website. So I'd basically just, I'd come up with a smaller picture and I'd, I do some more, uh, add some more product images and I, you know, it's okay to create like a little strip here, but, um, I would try and make this a little bit smaller because it's really taking up a huge part of your website and there's really no need for it to be that big. But honestly, your website, the design of it, it's not a huge issue. There are a couple spelling mistakes that I notice here, um, that you should definitely read through the things that you're writing to make sure that all the grammar is good and all that. But otherwise the, the design of your website is really not a big deal. What I really want to focus on drilling in here for you, because I believe that this is your main issue. This is the thing that you really need to fix. And that's why you invested money into this review is your brand right now is a little bit too confusing and people are having a hard time really understanding exactly who your brand is for. Okay, and I assume that that's the reason why you're not being able to make sales on your website right now is because people are coming to your website and they're really not able to identify with it. They don't understand exactly who your brand is for, exactly what you're going after. And I think that if you spend some time really thinking about who you want to target here and you start to design your website, you design your Instagram account, you design everything to cater to that specific audience, then you'll start to notice that people come to your website and maybe if they don't identify with it, they'll say, this isn't for me and leave. But the best part is that when they do identify with it, then they're gonna say, you know, this is actually exactly what I've been looking for. This is a brand that's exactly for me and what I like and my values. And that's the kind of thing that you wanna be sparking inside of these people when they come to your website. And right now when I come to your website, there's really nothing that's gonna do that. There's nothing that's gonna trigger what your brand's about because it's just way too ambiguous it's way too general okay so i just really wanted to drill that in for you and 
that's what I suggest that you focus on, okay? So what this means moving forward is that I suggest that you go to the drawing board here, you step back from your website, you step back from your design, you really think deeply, who do you wanna create clothing for? What, what age are they? Where do they work? What types of things do they like specifically? You know, are they streetwear? Do they wear streetwear? Do they wear, are they skateboarders? Are they, you know, musicians? Who is it specifically that you're trying to make clothing for? And then commit to that lane, okay? Commit to that specific lane. Because when it's open like this, it's not gonna get you anywhere, okay? So go back to the drawing board, really think about that, brainstorm a bit. Separate yourself from the work and taking action and designing your website and do some deep thinking about exactly who your brand is all is about and who exactly is going to identify with it. Because then once you do that, you can also start to think about the influencers that you can start to approach and get your clothing on. Because right now, you don't even necessarily know who would be influential to your audience because you don't necessarily know exactly who your brand is for. And when you figure out that your brand is for skateboarders, then you can decide, well, now I wanna go after influence, influencers that are skateboarders, right? Because those are the people that are going to influence your audience. So I really think that that is kind of what you needed to hear here. And uh, I know that that can be kind of hard to do and it's kind of this almost art form. There's really no science to it but that's the issue that you're experiencing right now with your clothing brand. And I know that if you spend some time on it, if you really think about it and you make the tweaks that you need to make, then you'll notice that you'll start to get orders coming in. You'll start to get people who are actually passionate about your brand and actually want to buy from you. Okay. So I really hope that this helped you and I'm excited to see where you end up in the future.